Okay, guys, uh, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Um, tell me what you think of this one. This is uh, Daily Encouragement by Daisaku Ikeda, September 21st. Uh, he says, the hearts of youth are found, in the hearts of youth, excuse me, are found an endless blue sky of hope, a brightly burning crimson sun of passion, and a wellspring of irrepressible courage and boundless creativity. Youth are the protagonists of a new age. The future depends entirely on the aims they cherish, how hard they study, how bravely they act, and how seriously they work to develop themselves. So what it reminded me of is back in the 60s, um, I was born in 1959, so I was just a little kid in the 60s when everybody was protesting the Vietnam War and such. And man, if, when you look back on those, those college kids and you know the ones that weren't in college anyway, the people that were protesting, they really started something very important because before that, people just kind of accepted war. You know, we all got behind it and you know, we were all patriotic and everything, but nobody really questioned what was going on really. And with the Vietnam War, you know, we started to realize that there was a lot of, there was other things involved besides spreading democracy. And there was, you know, we started to realize that there were corporate interests behind these wars. And more and more people over the last, you know, however long it's been since the 60s, uh, 60 years or whatever, have more and more people are starting to realize that. And, you know, it's it started kind of, I guess you could almost call it an age of enlightenment, where we're starting to see behind the veil of what's really going on. And so never underestimate the power of youth and people cherishing high ideals. You don't have to be young to have high ideals and be willing to stand up for them. So it's a, I think right now it's a time to be brave and, and really look behind. Don't take things on their face value right now. You don't believe everything you see on TV. Search, dig deep, look at all the different points of view. Don't look, stay with one news channel. Uh, and, you know, really just cherish, cherish the idea, ideals of protecting humanity and, and not getting caught up in this violence and stuff. So anyway, that's about all I got to say. I'd love to hear your comments. Thanks for joining me so much, and I will see you next time.